What's up, guys? It's Binary the Win here because Binary said awesome, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars Judgment. Last time we made it through most of this chapter. This time we have these guys to deal with. Um, the guys in this portion of the map are going to be kind of scary. Um, these guys are also not going to be too terribly nice, but at the very least. Um, they're not, like, stupid tough or anything. Uh, move you a little bit closer. Okay, you must need healing and units that can't fly. You can go in there. Heals. In there. You need heals. You need heals. Heals as well. Change their, uh, for lunar frames. Because we can. Neither of you need healing. You are pretty much. Well, we're just fighting grunts, but uh, you're not very fast, so I'll put you in the desk as well. Uh, you can hide the desk until we heal. You move up a little bit. So I have a clip on you. Repair equipment. Oh, repair equipment is something you just normally have. What do I have on you, though? A lot of things, actually. Need some energy, too. I guess Cypher's gonna be heading this, uh, assault. Uh, so Starbound's gonna be released this week on, well, this week as of recording, it'll be last week as of uploading, if all goes well. Um, but anyway, and I've been looking at mods to play on our server thing, because, uh, me and some friends do server things, and we're hoping on maybe doing some Starbound shenanigans. Well, I'm hoping we're doing some Starbound shenanigans. I do know if that will actually be a thing, but it's something I want to do. Anyway, but, uh, that being said, I was looking at some mods, and, uh, I found a giant robot mod, and it looks awesome. Ha! Joke's on you, I have beam coat. Yeah, exactly, you fool! I have beam coat! What are you doing? You nub. These mechs still remind me, like, they look like spacesuits to me. They don't look like giant robots, they look like spacesuits. Oh, and it didn't matter because I have Astro Image anyway. Thanks, After Image. Um, to be honest, I could probably finish him off with ballistic arrows, but uh. Let's get the train there, eh, sure. As we push forwards, we're gonna, or as we fight, um, as Ruri sort of hinted at, we're going to want to, I need to start my timer. <laughs> we're gonna want to push our way forwards so that when we can escape, we don't need to deal with that. I'm not looking at the wrong, there we go. Start. Okay, good, good, good. Because we do kind of want to break through. their ranks. I'll move Cypher a little closer. I'm gonna sword you. Or I'm gonna try to sword you at the very least. I've got Bean Coat, so uh, you try to laser me, I'm a counter. But it don't matter, because I sorted you in the face. Been sorted. Ha! Ah. Okay, can be deployed now. Now, the Kaiser can be deployed, but he's kind of slow. So we'll leave him as his port. 
Uh, blue Gundam is also kind of slow. Blue Gundam? <laughs> blue Gundam and Bolt Earth. Uh, no. How about we don't? Oh, I guess I hit that one that I targeted. <laughs> Leave it to me to not be paying any attention to that whatsoever. Also, fuck you, I have a barrier. G G gee, that's a shame. You know, that attack should be a map attack. Just, just because of its animation. It's like doing that animation from the show in which he sort of just stares at everything in front of him. Like, just rotates its head and just everything melts. Pretty awesome scene. I actually might have been able to take it, but I didn't want to risk it. Because, you know... Actually, Mazinger... Mazin um, Great Mazinger has Beam Coat, too. Yeah. It's not a barrier, it's a Beam Coat. Barrier is better. Well... Barrier is kind of better because it negates all damage. Beam code is good on a on a unit that doesn't have high energy because if it doesn't have high energy, you don't want the barrier to be always active. You know, because it conserves that energy that way. Yeah, now we got double valor. Ha ta 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 ta! Get away from me! 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 Ow, ow, ow. The fuck? That's what I get for shoving up in the front lines, I guess. not dead, which means that at the very least the other ones won't be able to get as close to me. Or I could be wrong. Okay, how much damage is this going to do? It's going to hit. Called it! Okay, that's... That's good. Rip Cypher. Ha ha ha. Uh, so someone's going to Nadesco, like, right now. And um, these four assholes are coming for us now. Whee! Okay, you two should move out of the way. That's... No. No, that is totally wrong. Victory requires skill. Oh yeah, I should probably do this while I can. It's not gonna work, but I could try. I can dream, Harold. Yeah, figures. Oh yeah, I was gonna check if anyone has a strike on this group yet. I don't think so. Yeah, not yet. Someone. I think it's Rory. Eventually, I think that's actually Rory's next thing is strike. So that'll be nice when that happens. 
but as of right now, it's not happening. Shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. And of course, Akazuki's is N for Negare, because, uh... Indeed we shall, Akazuki. Indeed we shall. Although I'm not sure how we're going to tear them apart when they're exploding. Commander! No! Boom. <laughs> they're doing quite well. Your Excellency, please allow me to go out there. <laughs> you? Interesting. Permission granted. Destroy them. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. They're resisting quite well. Resisting quite well. This is getting quite entertaining. I'll assist too. VMAX, red power. VMAX, red power. VMAX, no, that's not. That's not a regular VMAX. Energy detected to be about 25% strong, stronger than regular VMAX. Engaging it is dangerous. Repeat, engaging it is dangerous. More reinforcements. Enemy SPT is reinforced. Can't you do something about them? Everybody, please hang on. Ugh, that gold news isn't enough. Another weird one has shown up. IG, do you, know, do you not know anything about that one either? No, there's no data on it. Mm hmm. My, my, my. I never thought I would get to hear that nostalgic voice so soon after returning to the Earth Sphere. I never imagined I would meet you here of all places. Nostalgic, who the hell are you? Fujiwara and Sarah. Did you forget about me already? No, this is impossible. You gotta be kidding me. You! You're Shapiro? I heard you died in a Mars engagement on Mars. What the hell are you doing here? Shiba and Shikibu are here too. Heh. <laughs> Looks like a gathering of the problem, children. So, you think you're skilled enough to face me? Shapiro, why? Sarah, won't you come with me? His Excellency Ru Kane will accept you if you so desire. Throw aside those good-for-nothing sentiments of yours. Earth cannot defeat the Great Oceans. Shapiro, you're... Hey, did you say Shapiro? Is that Shapiro Keats? Do you know about him? That guy who piloted that thing is an Earthling? Who's piloting... The guy piloting that thing is an Earthling? Yes, Shapiro Keats. The man who instructed us at the officer's school. He was once Sarah's significant other as well. That guy was Sarah's main squeeze? Seriously? But his hair! His hair! I love that Eureka says this. This is the most hilarious line. I, like, I, I love that Eureka just says that. It's, I love it. His... Hair. He was he was one of the staff officers who took part in the Mars engagement. His ship was sunk in that battle, and we heard he died. But now it seems like he's alive and defected the Gradosian army to boot. I don't believe this, Shapiro. As a commissioned officer of the UAFA, how dare you throw you in your lot with the aliens? <laughs> Is that you, Colbert? At the time, nobody listened to me when I said we had no prospects for victory. The result was a massive was a failure. The result was failure on a massive scale. I'm done being used by the foolish earthling, by foolish earthling imbeciles like yourself. That is all. No way. I have since pledged his, my loyalty to His Excellency Ru Kane. Besides, a Redosian is on the side of Earth, so why is it surprising that an Earthling is on the side of Grados? Sarah, I await your answer. Don't you dare compare yourself with Ig. Sarah, don't tell me you're thinking about. You, you don't believe me, Shinobu? Don't even joke about that. Who the hell would join the Gradosians? You're wrong, Shapiro. <laughs> Fools. Sarah, in the end, you were completely reduced to that of a mere earthling. The least I can do is make sure you die. Oh, don't even joke. That's my line. Uh, do keep in mind, we can end the map by reaching over here. And that is, again, that's what we should be aiming to do. I doubt this is going to hit anything, but... Okay. Argo, show us your... Show us your move! Oh, man! He hit the dude! 
Take that plane. Back thing. Boom. He's dead. Uh, let's show off VMAX. Why not? Dare I say, why not? These are, you are all grunts, right? Grunt. And mission objective. Worship shut down. So, I could lose IG if I wanted to. I will not, but I could. Oh, uh, as a side note, this unlocks a um, combination attack of IGs. If you trigger that stupid glitch where we, you do not unlock VMAX, IG will not get VMAX. And then when he does get VMAX, eventually, because he doesn't get it for plot reasons after a um, pass branch split, once he, that happens, once he supposed to gets VMAX, he will not be able to do the combination attack. You need to get VMAX here in order to unlock that. Also, I hate this theme. Love this attack. Hate its... Hate its theme. It's very bland. And the loop is, like, incredibly short. That's it. It's looping again. It's already looped. But, it's quite powerful, as you can see. The attack is, not the song. The song is very, very weak. You can try to deal with um, Rukane if you want. Uh, trust me, it's not going to work, but you can try. But it's not really going to work. I mean, even if you succeed, it's like... I believe you're forced to retreat anyway, so... Don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure you get stuff for killing him. I can mean, I could check, but I'm pretty sure you get stuff for killing him, but it's not worth accepting New Game Plus when it's really easy to do that. Yeah, let's go check. Uh, let's what do you drop? Nothing. 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 What do you drop? Nothing! Okay, I was wrong. It's just completely not worth your while at all. Don't bother fighting them. Next turn. Beam cannon, you say? Oh, this looks really silly. Boop! Bah! I just love it. It's like... It's like a small... What? Okay, good. I was gonna say... What? Bullshit! Why is a beam cannon not called? Does not. Why does beam cannon not use beam? Or is not a kind of. You know what I mean? Oh, I actually didn't put that off this episode. Damn it, chair! Stop taking over for ninjas and stepping on my wires. Good, he's smart and punched me in the face. Eh, more like knuckles. Burn to a crisp. Breast burn. That's still such a silly fucking name. Why, Japan? Why? Hey. Just because he's a pirate doesn't mean he's impertinent. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. No, they're just that weak. That's actually a very nice animation for, like, the swing. his hand is, like, sort of moving in a very interesting way. I'm gonna start using Excel so I can get through, so I can push through faster. Fun fact, the first time I did this mission, I... I made the mistake of putting all my units in the ship and just using Excel. I got surrounded when I was just right, when I was like one tile away, I got surrounded. And I couldn't deploy anybody, and Nadesco just sort of 
eight damage. That's him over. Over? Dead. Level of one. Enemy force is now declining. We're now able to break free. This is what I was waiting for. Ready to go, everyone. Nesco will be leaving this area at full speed. Please escape as soon as possible. Damn you aliens. Captain, there are still enemies remaining. Are you absolutely certain we can run away from them? General, please stay si seated and silent. It's all right. Even if they pursue us, we'll be able to shake them off. We're not going to die here. Did you get that, everyone? It's time to do or die. It's time to do or die. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Please head in this direction to complete the, the breakthrough. The Nesco will begin it to make a run for it once all units are confirmed to have escaped. Please either re escape before us or return to the ship. Just make sure to run away in the right direction. Warship reaches the escape point. Warship shut down. Ah, uh, sure. So, now we should probably be trying to move faster. What in the world do you th people think you're doing? I must say, I am quite proud of the voice that I've given Akazuki. I do hope that I sound like a total asshole. If that is what I am going for. Because it's... Jesus Christ, they're moving so fast. Um. Okay, Megami. No, it's you. Are you gonna die? Mm, not really. <sighs> okay. Will this hit? Yes! Yes, it will. Won't instantly kill it, but it'll hit. Okay, go Akito, do the thing. We do still want to thin out their forces as we make it through. I think there's another map in which we have to escape, like at some point, where... Okay, that could happen too. That's instinct. He is from, uh, if you couldn't guess, he's from Dan Cougar, so that's going to be a thing he can do. Oh, well, that's a waste either way. Uh, VMAX is kind of the reason why I suggest leveling up um, IG's um, melee attack instead of his ranged attack. The ranged attack may help with his um, missiles early on. However, once at this point, like now that he has VMAX, you're going to want to use that instead most of the time. You know, it's your strongest attack. Still use missiles if you want, obviously. Atomic Punch. If it'll hit. Oh, it did hit. You look at that. Uh, we're st 
still quite a ways away. It's not terrific. I would rather not. Because you're gonna do that, so it's fine. Counter! Yeah! Each shoulder! Attention, duelists! My shoulder. That's not what I. That's not. not what this, this attack is silly. Boop! Bah! This love is like a little hat that just slowly opens up a little bit. <laughs> that started off being really good, and then it ended up being really not good. Ha 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 I G I heard that you killed that son of a bitch Gale. <laughs> Shut up, Gustero. I have to give you plenty of thanks for making my body like this. I'll kill you myself. It's only fair, after all. He's a robot now. Die, IG! But you got a cool new mech for it. That's gotta be... That's gotta be worth something. Right? Yeah, one of them has to be Max, this guy. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But sure enough, it is basically like IG's. Except he does this at the end, which is kind of weird. Confirm damage! As long as they don't stand directly in front of me, I'm fine. to deal with him. Uh, speaking of which... Uh, Cypher can also deploy now. There. Crap. Don't want to deal with this crap. Actually, I'm going to use focus with you. And with you as well. Oh, wait, I can use Excel as well. You want to get the Nadesco to that point quickly, but you don't want to leave everyone else behind. Microphone like a dumb. Boop. Look at right, that again.
Again, you don't want the Nadesco surrounded. That is bad if that happens, which is why you want a good majority of your units outside of the Nadesco. So if that does happen, you can take care of them and the Nadesco can break free. I got surrounded my first time, as I mentioned. It was not fun. Are you one of the important guys? No. I don't care about you then. I mean, at this point. Might as well. Usually a sad face comes to mind at times like these, doesn't it? I like that rifle, though. I want that. Give me that rifle. It's cool. It's cool looking. I want it. Give it. Give it to me. Give it to me, the rifle. Better looking at my rifle. They also have a lot of health. Which is another reason why you kind of don't want to deal with them. Ha ta ha ta ha 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 ta ha ha. Mandro. Well, that means we took damage. Though I kind of expected that. How much damage is the question? Good is the answer. Very good. Oh, thank God. This guy's attack is weird, by the way. Can you use it? Yeah. Those things are drills. He has whip drills. How does that even work? Uh, and this guy's got artillery guns, so we're gonna defend from this. His mech does look awesome, though. I will give it that. It's like I think this one's my favorite of the bunch. Although Gustero's, as much as Gustero's kind of a stupid character, I like his mech too. Ow! My everywhere. Okay, first of all. So, wall. All right, we're ma these transition engines at maximum power. Y unit full operation. Let's break their encirclement with one big push. Hey, hold on! Don't do anything reckless to Y unit. We've only barely attached. Managed to attach it, and we don't know if the Lynx will be able to bear the stress of the full use. Or so he says. It's fine, please do it. Now let's go detach from the combat zone at full speed! Commander Rukane, are you listening? If you're not going to stop this war between planets, then I've made up my mind. I will stay with the Earthlings until I die. Even if I don't want to continue fighting, I have to do so in order to protect the Earth. I will make sure the Gradosian fleet is stopped. IG. Is that really alright, IG? Yes. Now the battle begins to... Now the ba bat... Read that sentence, ladies and gentlemen. They escaped? <laughs> Interesting. It seems the Earth Sphere will be an inc another incredibly exciting project. Ah, I love it. Ha 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 ha! That's 4,000. My money! No enemy detected in the surround in surroundings. Field output at 20%. Proceeding at cruise speed. Warp speed. Th proceed at warp 3. Warp. Wrong sci fi. With the ship. I'm really glad everyone managed to escape. You keep doing things like this over and over again. Don't you realize your dumb luck won't last forever? Captain, on what basis did you decide to act like this? Now, now. 
In a pinch like that, getting a little bruised comes with the territory. Can't we just be glad that we're all right? Even if we, even if we did end up being defeated. If the 8th Fleet was annihilated, I take it that was because of the Gradosian army. The main fleet force has finally arrived. That commander of theirs is pretty redonkulous, huh? He said his name is Rukane. I heard about him during my time on Grados. He's considered a tr genius pilot and a true savant of the battlefield. For him to be supreme commander of the Earth Invasion Force. Aji, are you alright? I... It's alright, Anna. I'm fine. Thank you. I think Anna is the narrator of the Anna of, um... FPT at Leisner, the anime that Aji is from. In the end, you couldn't stop their fleet from attacking. The United Front formed the Joven Federation and the Gradosians. This is no joke. What are you going to do now, Ig? I'm confident that both the Gradosians and the Jovians. Yes, both the Jovians and the Jovians. The, both the Grado the Jovians and the both the Jovians and the Gradosians can understand each other as well as they can with Earthlings. But for now, I have to work on stopping their invasion for good. Only then can Earth have peace have time for peace. Is that really okay, IG? Weren't you saying that you wanted to stop the fighting between Earth and Grados? There's nothing more I can do. All that remains is to fight with all my strength alongside the rest of you. You're determined, I see. Do your best, IG. Yeah, yeah. Okay, from now on, let's do our best. Damn it, why did this have to happen? <laughs> um, General Colbert, what were you doing? I was trying to contact the Lunar Surface Army HQ, but I can't get through. Strange. This area isn't, isn't under heavy influence from end so it's there, so there's only one possibility that I can think of. What do you mean? Allow me to explain. Moikana confirms that there is no system trouble with us, and there's no obstacle to communications. That means we're not the problem in this case. However, we still can't contact them despite their high level of comm safety. There's no way that this is normal, which means... The base is gone? No, the Grosian army has... IMPOSSIBLE! IMPOSSIBLE! The enemy easily annihilated the 8th fleet. With that in mind, there's no question that they were capable of doing this. Besides, if you think about what they were doing here on the, on the moon, then the answer, becomes ob the answer becomes fairly obvious. Return to the lunar surface at once and... And then what? We only barely escaped from their fleet, General. If you want to st want to kill yourself that badly, keep the noose to yourself. Ah! We should descend to Earth at once, then. It's imperative that I make contact with Alaska HQ. Damn it! How did this happen? Whoop! Hey, where's Sarah? She's in her room. I wanted her to forgive me for that outburst before. Outburst? Outburst before, but you should really understand how she feels better than anyone. You should understand how she feels better than anyone. Yeah, but. So who's this Shapiro, Shapiro person? It's just like we said, he's an ex-commander of the UEFA and the man who instructed us at the West Point Point of West Point Officer School. Were you originally soldiers in the regular army? No, we found a job with Mithra before graduation. More like Professor ha ha Hazuki forced us into work with them. Noah was a graduate from the officer school too. He didn't like the strictness of his military career though and ended up quitting. That's how he ended up joining the OSDG. Wow, that, isn't that something? And that's how he knew about Shapiro? Yeah, that asshole is pretty infamous. Real obnoxious guy who spends all his time looking down on people. How about you, Eureka? Me? I ended in the Federation University, so I never heard of him. What's the difference exactly? The Earth Federation University is completely different from the Aca from an academy for soldiers or officers. It's the sole university in the entire Federation with an advanced military affairs curriculum, for one. In short, it not only concerns itself with building a strong foundation for anyone stationed in the front lines, but for all affairs related to the military. Whoa, so the captain really is amazing! Yes! If that's the case, I must have been looking at the other way during your metamorphosis. Um, what? Lay off, Juan. The captain's doing great. She has a point, though. She doesn't seem quite as good in hindsight. More importantly, what about the Shapiro guy? Uh, right. He was declared... I didn't know that killed in action was a thing, but apparently killed in action is a thing. He, he was declared... Kia... Of the I variety. After one of the engagements near Mars, but now we've discovered that he's not only alive, but working for the Corrosion army. That's so like him. 
look at the sidelines, already fully aware of the Jovians biding his time to betray us. Sarah hinted that he already said something about this a long time ago. He's in really deep with the Gradotians, huh? You don't think he could change sides again, could he? With him, I wouldn't doubt it. But what about Sarah? Is she alright? Her lover is... But his hair! She's a strong girl. She'll be fine. Either way, we wouldn't... We don't need to worry about him right now. He's just another enemy, just like, like the Grotians and the Jovians. Captain, I brought him. D-Boy, are you alright? He's just tired. Please be brief, if at all possible. Understood. General Crowbar isn't here, so it'll be alright. Besides, I don't have any interest in placing any blame on D-Boy. I just wanted to hear your reasons for leaving during the, la la the last battle, or there could be all kinds of problems later. If you have some sort of reason for what you did, please, I want you to tell me. It was nothing. I was just tired. Tired, huh? You're not that weak, D-Boy. Still, there's no question the situation was dire. That doesn't mean you can just leave during a fight without saying anything. It's suspicious. Yeah, that's definitely quite a bit of a stretch, coming from you, D-Boy. I have to agree, it isn't like you. What's the real reason, won't you tell us? There's nothing wrong. There's no real reason, either. Well, well... It's only a guess, but it probably has something to do with the system that lets you become a tech man. Is it somehow related to- is it related to the tech system somehow? Is that it? Exercising your right to remain silent, huh? Check. Hey, at least tell us about that red tech man, will ya? You seem to know him pretty well. So who the hell was he? No. Who the hell are you, tech man? Tech man. How many of them are- how many of you are there out there? Answer me, D-boy. Enough of this. Spill it. Hold on, everyone. Hold it! Didn't D-Boy lose his memory? Could it be that he isn't answering because he still doesn't remember everything? I wonder. It's less like he doesn't remember, more like he doesn't want to tell us. No! And thus... Oh, sorry. It was Chapter 23, The Extravagant Rukane. My mistake. But, uh... Thus ends that chapter, so let's, uh, puzzle Robo! Oh boy, what did I do? Uh, now that all enemies, and turn one enemy phase, the LED is shut down. I think we're gonna learn about- Oh, Jesus Christ. Zero SP. Oh, <laughs> How the fuck am I going? Shit. How is this going to work? This maybe? I doubt it, but we could try. I sincerely doubt he's going to survive this, but again, we can try. Oh! Oh, that's perfect. I'm not gonna get you with you. And I can deal with the rest. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, no. I mean, we're gonna survive, but am I gonna be able to kill that last guy is the problem. Yes! Evidently. Oh, because he's on a road. Right, these two were on buildings. Yeah! First try! 
and perfect timing too. So until next time, everybody, where we will begin our next chapter, chapter 24. Again, I don't remember what it's called, but we're going to begin it. <laughs> we will begin it. So until then, everyone. <laughs>